Hello everybody, I'm Steven with Yarbrough and & Sons and this is 410A Refrigerant. Is 410A Refrigerant going away? 410A has been commonly used in HVAC systems since about 2008. The EPA has recently put out some regulations that say that 410A has too high of a global warming potential. So they're phasing 410A down. As opposed to the phase out that happened with R22, they're only phasing this down. By 2036, it's going to be phased down to 15% of what they are currently making right now. Now the difference between a phase down and a phase out like they did with R22 is that on 410A, they're not going to stop making new refrigerant like they did with R22. R22, you can buy recycled refrigerant, but the EPA is not allowing any more manufacture of the R22. The 410A on the other hand, is just phasing down. They will still continue to manufacture new 410A refrigerant, but at lower intervals every year. So by 2036, they're only gonna be producing 15% of current production of R410A. Now, what does that mean for pricing? So as we saw with R22, when they started the phase out of it, we saw the prices start to climb. R410A is going to be the same. The prices are on R410A are gonna to start to climb. Now it's not gonna get as drastic as it was with R22 and the scramble of every HVAC contractor trying to you know, buy it out before it's gone, but the prices are going to, to rise and they will continue to rise up to that point where they're only producing 15% of what they're currently producing. How does this impact homeowners in our area? Short answer is not much. The phase down is gonna impact the pricing of our R410A refrigerant. Um, they do have new equipment that's coming out with R454B and R32, um, but until your system goes down, if it's still working, still operating, R410A refrigerant's still gonna be available for that. So there's no need to necessarily change it out immediately just to update it. Now, if you're having an issue, give us a call. We'll let you know what you need.